Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to look at the best and the worst of last night's episode of Raw. Which will include the hints of a big return, major romance teased on air. And we are going to look at The Fiend's return date in more details. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more wrestling content. Without wasting any time let's get into it. WWE Raw Before Elimination Chamber was a fun show that had its moments for sure. It certainly wasn't the gold standard in television programming because there was more than one issue with this week's show for sure. Be sure to leave a comment and let us know what you felt about this week's WWE Raw. Do you think this show got you pumped and ready for Elimination Chamber 2021? Are there aspects of the show that could have been done differently, in your honest opinion? Without further ado, we bring you the best and worst of WWE Raw. As always, feel free to disagree and air your thoughts and comments in the section below. Sports entertainment is subjective, and the beautiful thing about it is that no opinion is really wrong or right. Number 1. Best. Alexa Bliss returns to WWE Raw with pentagrams and more. Let's start off by saying that it's great to see Alexa Bliss return to WWE Raw again, even if she wasn't physically present in the Thunderdome. We hope that she is safe and well, because the health and well-being of any performer are far more important than any storyline. A lot of people seem torn about whether or not they enjoy magic and witchcraft in their wrestling, which is certainly fair. That said, WWE has decided to go down this route, and Alexa Bliss has certainly embraced it wholeheartedly. Whether it was the fact that her image appeared on every screen in the Thunderdome or even the fact that she appeared within a pentagram, Alexa Bliss delivered the performance of her life. Alexa Bliss also foreshadowed the return of Bray Wyatt with her incredible promo. Do you guys think he will return at Elimination Chamber? Stay tuned as we will get more into details about The Fiend's return towards the end of this video. Number 1. Worst. Let's hope the Bad Bunny thing on WWE Raw isn't a step back for Mandy Rose. There was definitely an element of flirtation during WWE Raw between Bad Bunny and Mandy Rose, and this may not necessarily be the best step forward. Remember how Mandy Rose and Otis used to be a couple on screen until they were suddenly separated and thereafter placed in different brands? One has to assume that Mandy Rose's storyline with Otis was dropped because WWE had no endgame in sight. They also probably wanted to give her a fresh new start on WWE Raw as Dana Brooks' tag team partner. This is probably a step back for Mandy Rose, who, if you can believe it, is yet to win any championship in WWE at all. Let's hope that she is not relegated to the eye candy role on WWE Raw, because that would be a misuse of her potential. At one point in time, people thought that Mandy Rose was Trish Stratus's second coming, but that hasn't really panned out during her WWE Raw stint. Number 2. Best. The Miz kickstarts WWE Raw by proclaiming that he won't be a part of the Elimination Chamber 2021 match. Last week, we pointed out how Shane McMahon's WWE Raw announcement, where he proclaimed that The Miz would be a participant in the Elimination Chamber match, made no sense at all. Why should he participate in the match if he has the Money in the Bank contract? It does seem like someone from the creative team pointed it out and rectified the mistake. That said, the fact that Kofi Kingston is now part of the Elimination Chamber 2021 match is certainly a step in the right direction. Kofi Kingston made history two years ago at WrestleMania when he defeated Daniel Bryan to become the WWE Champion, and fans have wanted him to reclaim his place at the top of the roster for a while now. The WWE Raw decision won't wipe away the smear left by him getting squashed by Brock Lesnar in no time at all, but it's still a positive step. Number 2. Worst. Another Jerry Springer segment on WWE Raw with Lacey Evans. It was recently pointed out how WWE Raw reverts to Jerry Springer-like storylines at this time of the year. Whether it's Bobby Lashley's wedding to Lana or what transpired between Lacey Evans and Ric Flair and Charlotte Flair, what we saw this week wasn't good. Charlotte Flair is far too talented a performer to be thrust into a storyline like this, honestly. It also remains to be seen which member of the roster will now get a chance to clash with Asuka at Elimination Chamber for the WWE Raw Women's Championship, considering that Lacey Evans is genuinely pregnant. Let's hope that Asuka goes heel at some point and can clash with Charlotte Flair to elevate the prestige of the WWE Raw Women's Championship. That's exactly the feud that the division needs at this moment. One has to hope that WWE Raw star Peyton Royce isn't cast in a romantic relationship with Ric Flair if Lacey Evans does indeed step away as an active television performer. Number 3. Best Worst. The WWE Raw Main Event. 
is it a good idea for the WWE Raw main event to feature the same guys that we'll see clash inside the Elimination Chamber only a few days from now? The main event match was entertaining for sure, but nearly everyone who watched it could tell that Sheamus would emerge as the victor by the end of the clash. Even though the storyline was such that Drew McIntyre endured a lot of punishment before he was pinned by Sheamus, was it the right call to pin him? There is an aura about Drew McIntyre, who has been portrayed as a man who is bulletproof, and this was severely diminished on WWE Raw. Now let's get into the main event of the video. When is The Fiend coming back to WWE? The Fiend has been one of the best gimmicks in WWE over the last few years, but some would argue that the character has gone a bit flat in recent months. However, The Fiend's feud with Randy Orton has been pretty interesting, thanks to the inclusion of Alexa Bliss. The last time The Fiend was on WWE television was in the Firefly Inferno match at the TLC pay-per-view in December. That clash ended with Orton setting The Fiend's body alight. This past week's WWE Raw threw up the biggest indication that The Fiend could return to WWE television soon. Alexa Bliss, in her segment, stated that he will be reborn. She was perhaps alluding to The Fiend, who was, of course, burnt alive by Orton. Randy Orton was speaking about his match at this weekend's Elimination Chamber, where he will face five other superstars for the WWE Championship. But his promo was cut short by Bliss, who was sitting on a pentagram on the floor. She said that he will be reborn in the future, before the segment ended with her unleashing a disturbing laugh. The Firefly Funhouse was also shown at the start of the Bliss promo, which is perhaps the biggest indication that The Fiend is set to return to WWE soon. Later in the night on Raw, during the gauntlet match, Alexa Bliss once again made an appearance. This time she was on the screens in the Thunderdome while Orton was performing. Orton lost via countout due to Bliss's distraction. The Elimination Chamber pay-per-view could potentially be where The Fiend eventually returns to WWE. He could take revenge on Randy Orton, who will be inside the Elimination Chamber structure. This could see the Orton-Fiend rivalry continue on to WrestleMania 37. Orton will be one of six superstars to compete in the chamber with Drew McIntyre's WWE Championship on the line. Kofi Kingston, Sheamus, Jeff Hardy, AJ Styles, and the champion, Drew McIntyre, are the five other competitors. A recent report stated that The Fiend could have an appearance change when he eventually returns to WWE. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment below. Until then, see you in the next video.